Hello guys, I decided to make a small demonstration of how the Mazda radar cruise control works with the altered uh, configuration that supports like lower speeds, working at lower speeds uh, and just overall to show how the MRCC works. So um, right now to basically enable the MRCC you have to push the button and you'll see it in the um, the screen and head up display so um, I'll switch to drive and um, whenever I I click the plus button when we'll driving just a second pass it all will pass by so we have to have a speed of at least like maybe one or two kilometers per hour then pressing plus puts the um, MRCC speed to 30 kilometers per hour it's like the minimum speed which you can set to like make the cruise control um, like you can't you can't set it to lower speed than 30 kilometers per hour and it accelerates um, right away after pressing pressing plus when you have your speed at like about two kilometers per hour so pressing brake uh, stops the uh, MRCC and it shows that it has been cancelled I'm pressing resume and putting the speed to 50 kilometers per hour let's find the more interesting situation I'll pause the video now so right now we see a car in front of us it's braking and the car is braking also as we can see uh, radar cruise control is still active even at 2 km per hour however uh, it stops braking at approximately 5 km per hour so uh, it dropped the speed from approximately 50 to up to 5 then it like just uh, drives on its own until uh, the distance is too small then it shows the brake um, like signal on the head up display and a sound alarm uh, after like it doesn't break uh, to the full stop so you have to push the brake button brake pedal uh, when when the distance uh, is too too small uh, it might break uh, like stop to full if if the smart city brake support uh, kicks in but that's like um, I, I won't count in <laughs> at it it's like um, a more dangerous way of stopping uh, also, uh, what I wanted to show you is um, uh, it, it, the radar does not see the car when it's at full stop and it won't see it until the car um, like has the speed of at least 20 km per hour. So we'll see uh, after the car starts moving in front of me and uh, when the icon will appear. As you can see, at even at 15 kilometers, it does not see the car in front of me, and we can't engage the radar cruise control because there's no icon of the car in the head-up display. As you can see, at approximately 20 kilometers per hour, the icon appeared. I'm clicking the resume button and the Mazda cruise control is engaged right now and it stops on its own de-accelerates I mean so as you can see it can de-accelerate up up uh, until 5 km per hour then it stops the accelerating
So it released the brake right now and I should brake on my own. And we don't see the icon anymore. Um, this works with cars which have a vehicle control module. Uh, I guess that's Mazda 3 BM uh, and pre-restyle and probably Mazda 6 GJ. I think that's that's my assumption. I only know that it definitely works on BMs, um, but you can try. I don't think that it works with cars which have um, second generation front sensing camera, uh, which don't have the uh, vehicle control module, uh, but that's just my guess. Thank you.